In order to allow the eight brothers to use cost-effective cables, this seemingly inconspicuous small workshop will produce them independently. Although the processing equipment they use is outdated, it is the final production. The first step in making cables is that the masters need to comb these aluminum wires. In order to facilitate subsequent processing, they need to first wind these aluminum wires on the drum. Although the equipment they use in this process is the lowest configuration, the progress in the winding process is still quite fast. After the masters have wound and combed all the aluminum wires, they also need to fix them to the winding machine. In order to prevent problems with the wire diameter, they need to use a micrometer to make detailed measurements. After there are no problems, the masters can then start the winding machine and win seven aluminum wires. The purpose of doing this is not only to increase the wire diameter and load-bearing capacity of the aluminum wire, but also to make the cable stronger. In order to improve the insulation capacity of the cable, the masters will pour these high-quality plastic particles into the rapid machine. Through the heating of the rapid machine and the internal pressure, the material particles have quickly melted. At that time, the master only needs to adjust the slurry outlet appropriately. At that time, the original ordinary aluminum wire, after the melting and wrapping of the speed machine, the insulation layer on the outside has been processed quickly. Since they are making multi-core cables this time, after the insulation of the cables is done, they also need to fix these cables on the angle bonding machine so that the four cables can be made into a hole. In this process, in order to control the structure and stability of the cables, the masters need to strictly control the angle bonding rules to prevent the produced cables from deforming and a series of problems. The angled cables will be preliminarily packaged. In order to improve the anti-interference ability of the cable, they will wrap a layer of metal material on it. Then in the final sheath production process, they need to use extruders and plastic particles. The masters can wrap the insulation layer on the outside of the cable by using the extruder to heat evenly. After watching the entire process of making cables in this small workshop, what do you think of their production process? If there are 10 points, how many points are you willing to give?